a very good morning to all of you class 5 today i will explain you chapter number 7 internet services so let's start with the chapter before starting with the chapter let's first discuss what is internet and what do you mean by internet services the internet is a global computer network consisting of millions of internet connected networks providing a wide range of information and communication facilities okay internet services allow us to access huge amount of information such as text graphics sound and software over the internet all right the four different categories of internet services are you can see in the graph below communication services information retrieval service web services and world wide web okay now we'll discuss requirements for connecting to the internet to connect to the internet there are some essential requirements first one is modem second one is telephone line and the third one is internet service provider or we can say isp in short right so now let's discuss modem as you can see in the image also how it looks like modem stands for modulator demodulator okay as you can see in the name it is written mo modem mo dem right this device facilitates the communication between computers through telephone lines or cables because they are wireless also or they use wires also right next is it is installed at both the senders and receivers in c it is installed at the both at both the senders and receivers in so obviously they will have some different work at the receiver end it converts the digital signal into an analog signal okay and on the receiver end modem demodulates the analog signals into a digital signal right next is telephone line the telephone lines are used to transfer signals across the network okay as telephone lines can carry only analog signals there are no digital signals right so the digital signals produced by the computer are first converted into analog by the attached modem next and the third requirement is isp that is internet service provider as you can see in the image how it works see this is isp right and we get the internet with the help of isp government offices home small businesses education institutions and so on an isp is an organization that provides a connection to the internet for a fee it means this isp is any company or organization who charges some fee right next is earlier isps used dial up modems to connect a device to the network but nowadays dsl and cable modems are used okay next is top 3 isps of india are bsnl mtnl and bharti airtel okay children i hope it is clear different ways to connect to internet see wireless cable connection dial up connection dsl connection satellite connection and cellular connection we have these many ways to connect to the internet right so now we'll discuss them one by one wireless connection it uses radio frequencies instead of wires or cables to connect to the internet it means we don't use wires here okay wires are not are not required right next is the data transfer rate of a wifi connection what is wifi wireless fidelity wifi connection is 5 mbps to 
20 mbps okay next is it allows multiple devices multiple means many devices to use internet at the same time means many devices can be attached to it and we can use internet simultaneously means many people can use it at the same time okay next is cable connection as the name suggests you can see in the image also see a cable is connected yes so here cable is attached so cable connection requires a cable obviously it is a broadband connection that turned on as long as the cable is attached to the modem okay it is many times faster than a dial up connection so this is an advantage that cable connection is many times faster than a dial up connection right next is the data transfer rates vary from 512 kbps to 20 mbps right next is your dial up connection see this image this type of dialog box appears when you use dial up connection okay first you have to fill the entries right and then at the end you have to click on this dial button right then the connection will be established so now let's see what is a dial up connection it uses telephone line and an analog modem to connect to the internet next is to establish a connection a computer dials a specific number provided by the isp okay as you can see here a number is required right this connection is not expensive but slow it means this connection is comparatively cheaper but it is slow also right the data transfer rate is 56 kbps okay the next type of connection is dsl dsl stands for digital subscriber line okay in this type of connection it's a high speed broadband internet connection it uses same wires as a regular telephone line along with the dsl modem see the figure you can see here in this internet connection we have a dsl modem attached to the device okay so it uses same wires as a regular telephone line along with the dsl modem it costs less than satellite internet connection okay it means it is cheaper comparatively cheaper than satellite connection and the data transfer speed is 128 kbps to 8 mbps right next is satellite connection satellite connection is used in areas that are unreached by wires or cables dish antenna is installed at the receiver side to catch signals emitted by the satellite now as you can see in the this figure this is your isp that we have discussed earlier isp is internet service provider so this service provider will send the data to the satellite okay and this satellite will transmit or broadcast the data okay and this is the receiver okay so as you can see here dish is installed so this is the receiver so receiver will catch the signals emitted by this satellite okay next is satellite internet connection is faster than the dial up connection okay due to huge distance its data transfer rate is around 512 kbps to 2 mbps right next is cellular connection it provides high speed internet access through cell phones cell phones means yes mobile phones the data transfer rate varies for third generation and fourth generation that is for 3g it is 2 mbps and for 4g it is 20 mbps right a good connection needs a shorter distance from the tower 
as you can see in the figure a tower is placed here and four ranges are shown okay if this mobile phone is placed in the cs4 range then it would be better connection as compared to cs2 range right children i hope this much is clear to you and i will explain you some common internet services in the next video like email e shopping chatting etc okay thank you children